We're here with Cal State Northridge women's volleyball head coach Jeff Stork, who enters his eighth year at Cal State Northridge this, this fall. The matter has opened the 2009 women's volleyball schedule August 28th against Tulsa. Coach, you graduated five seniors last year. How do you return? But you return a solid core of players this year. How do you integrate all your new players in this coming season? Uh, we always think that we're recruiting uh, talented student athletes. Uh, we certainly don't recruit people we don't think can contribute to the success of the team. Uh, yes, those five seniors will be missed, uh, but it's always it's nice to see them graduate and move on uh, to you know bigger and better things. Uh, it's nice to see that young freshmen or transfers come in. Um, we'll just figure it out a different way. And if we had to rely on one of those five seniors, uh, I think there's enough quality players within our program to distribute that load onto them. Among your seniors returning is uh, Angela Hupp, who was a first-team all-conference uh, performer last year. What do you expect from Angela this year? Uh, more of the same. Um, Angela does a lot of things for us. Uh, she's always responded to anything that we've asked, it up, asked of her. Uh, her load as a passer will probably increase. Um, you know, the leadership aspect, uh, this is now, in essence, her team. Uh, last year, like you said, we had five seniors that graduated. There was a strong leadership within those five, uh, and just by far our uh, uh, most dominant leader within the team. And we'll ask more of her uh, you know, as we have of every year that she's been here. You've also got a solid group of juniors returning, including Brittany Williams, Sierra Grayson, and Linda Morales, who also got significant playing time last year. Do you expect big things from them this year? Uh, you know, I expect big things from everybody that comes in, but certainly uh, you expect a little bit more of your uh, upperclassmen. Um, Brittany is doing real well. She had a better summer than she did the year before. Uh, Sierra uh, also had a very good summer. Uh, she's actually playing uh, one of the best of our outsides currently. Uh, Linda, unfortunately, is uh, injured at the moment and hasn't been able to train, although she had a very good summer uh, with her conditioning and volleyball. Um, the, so she's in a little bit of a recovery mode right now. Uh, we expect uh, her to come back into training at the end of the week and uh, be ready for our first tournament uh, in a couple weeks. Sophomore uh, setter Sam Orlandini was an all-Big West freshman last year, and she has one season under her belt as a starting setter. What do you expect from her this year? Uh, Sam, uh, more of the same. Run the offense. Uh, I'd like to have her take on a, a bit more of the leadership role. Obviously, Angela is the main focus for that, but uh, the setter, um, with the dominance of, of those five seniors last year, uh, it wasn't as big of a requirement for Sam to lead. Uh, we're going to expect a little bit more of her in that regard, keep the team side now, keep them in system, and give our hitters a real quality swing. Um, having one year under her belt is certainly going to help her uh, we've seen better and better things through the preseason so far, uh, and we'll we'll keep giving her a ton of sets. The Matadors finished nine and twenty-one overall last year, three and thirteen in the Big West. We're tied for eighth. What do you learn from last season that you could take into this season? Um, a few things that I would do uh, differently is handle the team slightly different. Uh, we had a good first third of the year. We had a good end of the season last year. It was the middle that really. Uh, um, shuttered our confidence a little bit. We lost four of seven in five games, all I thought we could have won. Uh, you change that around, um, you know, maybe it was a different season. But I think if you look at the win-loss side of it, it was uh, a bit disappointing. Uh, but I do think the, tr the team was training hard and uh, uh, most of the time, uh, even in those phases where we weren't winning matches, uh, we were still training real hard, sticking together, you know, fighting through it. Um, I also think our, our schedule is a little bit uh, softer than it was last year. It's still a difficult schedule, I think. Uh, it, it certainly is going to be a challenge for this team um, to do better than it was last year, but uh, I have confidence that we will. The Big West is always a tough volleyball conference to compete in, and like we touched on, you open August 28th against Tulsa at Boise State University and the first of three tournaments before opening at home September 18th against Fresno State. Can you go into a little more detail about the schedule, what you think, what your thoughts are? Um, 
You know, I, I, we went to Boise State last year, uh, two new teams, Tulsa and Northern Arizona, uh, both good programs. Um, Tulsa, I think, is is a, the strongest of the three that are uh, that will be playing. I uh, don't know that much about them, but I, I do know it's a strong program historically. Um, you know, we go to San Francisco, which will be another strong tournament. Um, and then Washington State, we had a, a real tough five-game loss against them at the start of the year last year. Uh, my hope is we'll do better uh, than we did uh, last year against them. Um, you know, preseason is always a setup to a difficult Big West conference. Uh, we're traditionally, the Big West is tr traditionally, you know, four to eight as far as strength of conferences in the nation out of 30. Um, you know, so it's always difficult. Uh, and when you're coming from a season that, uh, that we had last year, you know, it doesn't matter who we're playing. It, it matters how good and how many improvements or what improvements we are making as a team. Uh, I'm less concerned about the opponent than I am of ourselves. Uh, my hope is that our players uh, are going to be committed to that improvement and look to make changes every single day to get better. Our thanks to Matador Women's Volleyball Coach Jeff Stewart for joining us this afternoon. A reminder, the Matadors open the 2009 schedule August 28th against Tulsa at Boise State University and will open the home schedule September 18th against Fresno State.